my channel and if you're new here, hi, my name is Ella. I film fun college lifestyle and beauty videos. Today I wanted to show you guys my college morning makeup routine. It's super simple, super easy, super affordable, something that will take you max 10 minutes. You need to get out the door and go. These are all very easy products to use, nothing, no complicated techniques, something super user friendly for everyone. So I really hope you guys like this video. If you are new, you should definitely subscribe, hit that button down below. And if you already are subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. It means a lot. It means a lot to anyone who just watched my channel. So thank you. And if you guys want to see more of me and see more of my college life, especially because sorority recruitment's going on right now, I have great stuff on my Instagram. You guys should definitely follow me on there. It's always linked down below. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. Hey guys, so if you're not new to my channel but you missed my last video, I'm in my new apartment. It's definitely not decorated. You guys will be seeing some more kind of decor videos, me setting things up soon. If you guys like apartment videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys want to, I'll link them all up. I'll just link them up there for you guys. And if you guys want, you can definitely check them out. So you're kind of just caught up on what's going on. So today I just kind of want to show you guys a simple makeup look that I do just before school. I live in Texas. It's super hot. If you guys don't know, I'm a sophomore at Texas State University. Um, it's super hot here. Yesterday it was 105 degrees, so I'm usually wearing like halter tops and like crop tops and shorts. It's so hot out or Nike shorts, just very light fabrics because it is so warm here. So this is definitely sweat proof makeup. I've worn this outside a thousand times and it never ends up on my clothes just dripping. It's always stays put. So I feel like the part of that is like a little bit of the technique I use. So and I'll link all of the products on the screen just so if I like pronounce it weird or anything, you guys know what I mean. This is the, I'm going to go in with primer. This is the YSL Touche Clant Blur Primer. It's just a sample size, but I've actually really like it. So it's kind of just what I've been using as like my everyday primer lately. I really like um, a cheaper alternative uh, is the Too Faced Born This Way Hangover RX, which is what I use a lot as well. Before I got this sample, that was what I used. But now that I have the sample, I'm just using it because I'm like, might as well. I mean, I have it. Um, so if you guys, if this is like out of your budget, 10 out of 10 recommend the Too Faced one. It's so good. So it just kind of blurs out your pores, makes everything look super snatched, like kind of just like a nice, good canvas to work with. Ooh, got a piece of hair on it. <laughs> um, so this is the primer I use. And then I don't usually wear foundation to class. I wear powder foundation, but not liquid because I will sweat that off it is so hot in texas so i've been like i've been really liking to do concealer spot conceal like i have discoloration around my mouth and i have really bad dark circles and just cover up any little like blemishes i have um so i use the Too faced born this way multi-use sculpting concealer and mahogany i believe this is the line that jackie Heine came out with that's the foundation i normally use as well so if you're wondering, I don't use mahogany, but I use like her extended version. So I really like that foundation line. So I'm just going to dot it kind of around my mouth, a good amount around my eyes, just because I feel like this, like, I feel like in college, everybody always looks like so tired, so dead all the time. Like if like between hanging out like late at night with friends and just everyone's always like doing the most i usually like to put some on my lid just to kind of cover up because it does get dark there as well i look real crazy but i promise we'll be blending this out and then just a little on my forehead to kind of blend it all together i'm using the jaclyn hill palette for a mirror today so that is what's going on i'm just using a damp beauty blender and sponging it on it will probably look a little crazy color wise but I promise once we put on my powder foundation this will all blend perfectly and I kind of like to go in just a little heavy just so that nothing like if I do touch my face I have a couple layers to save myself before I rub it all off so I'm gonna rub, put that on and then kind of just blend out 
my forehead like it makes my eyes look so much better and then I'm gonna take this whatever's on this blend and go over I have a little bit of blemishes on my cheeks I have extremely dry skin and being going from living on the water in Houston like to living in San Marcos which was much drier really does not help me so kind of just pouncing to make sure there's no like really harsh lines and I usually use much quicker because I'm not talking but yeah this whole routine takes me about max 10 minutes okay so next I'm going to go in I'm going to do my eyeshadow um why I just kind of let my concealer situate someone's like revving their truck out there and it's really frustrating because I'm obviously trying to film so for my eyeshadow palette today i'm going to be using the morphe 35f palette here's what it looks like i want to do something that's super affordable super easy to get you guys can get these at ulta or online they're super affordable so many colors as you can tell i've used the living crap out of this like it's definitely got like some full indents it's really nice very pigmented super affordable which in college i feel like that's what really matters is that things are really affordable like everybody's broke in college so yeah so i'm gonna be going in and just doing a really simple like bronzed eye something that'll look good on everyone i'm just gonna use this again for my mirror so i'm going in with the mac 233 brush it's just a shader like packing brush I'm going to go in with this shade. I'm gonna try, if I can find them, I'll like put them on the screen what the shades are called. I only use eye primer if I'm like doing a full like colorful look, but with neutral shades, I find my concealer works just fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in and put this right on the lid so you guys can see something super simple super easy kind of just brightens up the look i feel like eyeshadow is a great way to just brighten up your look it makes you look like you put in so much more effort than you actually did like it's almost my skin tone but it's not it's just and it's really shimmery in person i don't know if the camera's picking it up but it's super shimmery super cute so let me just put that on there Okay, so now that's on like the majority of my lid, I left my outer corners and my inner corners empty because we're gonna do something with those. People are being so loud, it's making me so mad, so I'm so sorry. Okay, next I'm going to be taking a, just another dark shimmery shade just cause I feel like it just wears really well. This one, the dark brown. This is like super simple. I really, I prefer doing a matte black, but I feel like that's kind of intense for just like an 8 a.m. So we're just gonna use a shimmery brown shade to kind of keep it a little more light and fun and put that all up in my crease. And then I'm gonna blend it forward in, I put it between like my outer corner and my crease. So I'm gonna do the other eye fast forward because I usually take a while doing this and then I'll jump to the next step. Hey, so I'm back. Time lapse now over. So now you can tell that it's just kind of blended all throughout my crease. I did have a bit of fallout onto my cheeks. Um, I know the camera is not going to pick it up, but I'm just going to dust that away with a clean brush just so it doesn't get everywhere. Okay. Also, for the brush that I used to pack on this shimmery dark brown is a M456 Morphe brush. Um, their brushes are really inexpensive, so I like them. I do know some people um, like have mixed reviews. I personally really like them. They're super affordable. They're decent quality. Like I can wash them and none of like the bristles fall out, so I like them. Can people not be so loud today? I'm obviously trying to film. So next, I'm just going to be taking a morphe m441 and i'm just going to be taking a shimmery gold like pure yellow gold put this in my inner corner wash it out super lazy super like chill nothing like intense and that's going to be our eye look because 
know I'm gonna do this extremely fast. It just, I'm more like, I need to have color on my face and then it makes me look like I try really hard, you know? I'm like trying to get more product. Okay. Let me get a little more. Okay. I have like one piece of like an eyelash right there that like it won't go away. So I'm trying to get it. I'm so sorry. I'm like not talking. I'm just lame. Okay. So this is going to be the eye look without obviously mascara and cleaning it up. Once it's like all done, I promise you I'm not going to look crazy. Okay. So here's the eye look. It's super simple. It's definitely different than like all of like my normal looks I guess because my normal looks are more like colorful intense this is like a very school appropriate this is definitely high school junior high appropriate makeup so next before I do my mascara I'm gonna do my uh, powder foundation this is the locket powder foundation in deep 66 from Kat Von D so See, I feel like this made it look like so much better than what it was looking like. So. And then for blush, I'm going to be using MAC Sweet as Cocoa Brush. I broke the lid. I accidentally dropped it. But like, as you can tell, I clearly love this blush. It's so pretty like so good i've used it on my mom she loves it and she's um very fair she's like um if you guys don't know i'm adopted um so my mom is definitely like a like lively kind of color and like she really likes this so this is definitely like a universal like skin tone friendly blush in my opinion i really like it so if you guys are in need of a new blush this one's really pretty it's really natural it definitely it comes off more natural on my skin it may be more of like a winter blush like on someone who's a little fair but it's really pretty um it has the slightest amount of shimmer but only in like direct direct like summer sun and it just makes you look like you just got off the beach you just like left like miami or something like you look so good in sunlight so piece of hair um so Here's my blush. I always do a little on my nose, just so like, I feel like it makes you look like more alive. So, I don't know. Do you guys do blush on your nose? If you do, comment down below that you also do so I don't feel weird. Okay, last step, mascara. I don't curl my lashes in the morning just because I usually don't have time. So we're just gonna wisp through this very quickly. Hey guys, so pretty much this is almost the finished look. So last step is obviously a lip color. So I've really been loving the ColourPop. It's the Crystal Lip Balm in the shade Amber. It's a super pretty mauve almost between mauve and coral. It comes off, it's a super natural, pretty sheen. It's definitely like just like a very slight amount of color on me. I feel like if you um, have like paler lips in mine, like mine are obviously like dark. If you have paler lips, this like would probably come off more pigmented, but I really like it because it's like a your lips, but better. It's like a little bit better than chapstick, but not like a full on lipstick. So I really like it. It's super moisturizing because it's still a lip balm, but it lasts so long. It's so pretty it's super affordable it's color pop so i really like it and for everyone who's sleeping on color pop shame on you because it's freaking awesome so i really like it so yeah this is just kind of my finished 
look for today. I usually like pull fake like pieces down from my face. Like that's why I kept fidgeting with this one. So it's kind of like the look I go for. Like I feel like it makes it look like you tried like a little less. Like it makes it look like a little more like casual chic. So I don't know. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. So if you guys liked today's video, you definitely should subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I hope this was helpful to all of like my incoming freshmen or anyone who's newer to college because this is just super fun, super easy, super simple. College is definitely a fun, super laid back environment, especially compared to high school. Um, I promise you it's so much fun. And even this is like considered like full face here and it took me 10 minutes to do. So it's super easy, super fun. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. You guys should definitely subscribe, follow me on Instagram. And if you watch this whole video, thank you so much. Thank you so much to everyone who's been supporting me. It means a lot. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great afternoon and morning or night. Bye. Hold your balance. I just say whatever cause there is no way you're bound. Everyone falls down.